Hey guys, Eclipse here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Anthem combo system, especially because the demo is coming out this weekend, so I'm assuming that a lot of people should be playing in this open demo because it's an awesome game and you should really be giving it a shot. I know the community's reviews on it um, have been kind of bad. It was just because that was, you know, an open demo, and it wasn't the best. had some bugs, but a lot of people have said that this should be fixed by the next weekend, and the game was amazing and really at its core a great game. So you guys should really give it a shot on this free weekend because it's it's a great game. Um, but besides from that, let's get right into this. I got to say thank you very much to these two very amazing people who have made pretty much this whole graph system of how the combos work. Um, I'm going to be having it up on the screen in this video. And I will put a website down in the description so you guys can go check out the website where it is at. Uh, but thank you to FireDragon04, who is the original maker of the graph. And thank you to, I believe it is Dasil, is how you would say it. I'm not exactly sure, but he is the man who made the website. So thank you very, very much to both of them to make this video a lot easier for me to make. So I get to play about 20 hours in the demo and I really messed around with the combo system because it's a great way to do extra damage and how to eliminate pretty much everything in the game. You kind of want to do combos. It's a major part of it. So basically, all the interceptors have a different combo effect. And I said interceptors, I meant javelin. Sorry about that. Um, but first, we will go with the interceptor. And when he gets a combo, uh, he generates an aurora around him, which lets him basically spread that aurora to other enemies when he melees them. Not exactly sure how it spreads completely, but I know for sure that with melee it does spread. So it allows you to pick up an aurora from a flaming enemy and basically put everyone on fire. So then anyone else in your group with detonating abilities and plus you will be able to detonate them, which is pretty great and does a ton of damage so that's a nice little thing to the interceptor to keep its kind of you know melee even better because you gain literally fire around you it can't get any cooler and ice and all these other abilities pretty much anything in the game you can gain the aurora around it um and then onto the storm so the storm how the combo works is when you get a combo the aurora of the combo spreads to nearby enemies which then allows you to detonate them again and spread to more enemies, which is pretty damn awesome. So that would just let you chain, frost, fire, whatever you're trying to chain to all the enemies around you and let so many detonation on combos happen for other people in your group. That's why a storm is a really, really good class to have in your group. Um, it's kind of essential in my opinion. And then next up is the Colossus. So as he's the big boy, he just makes everyone explode. I was playing the Colossus the whole time as the demo. Fucking loved it. Sorry for the curse word, but it was amazing. You basically just made everything explode. Your melee makes things explode. Your shooting makes everything explode. And when you're with a storm, they're just priming everything. And you're pretty much most of your abilities are detonators. Uh, you have a couple, like very, very minuscule amount of priming on the Colossus. But... Um, your detonation just makes people explode in AoE, which is great and does a lot of damage. Uh, and then for the Ranger, when they do their combo, they get a critical target damage, which is basically um, just extra damage towards that enemy, which is really good for singling out, um, you know, big heavy bosses. When you do your combo, you'll get extra damage on high heavy hitting um, detonators. So, as you guys might have heard a lot in me talking about that, I've used the term primer and detonator, that is the terms that they've used, um, and abilities do different things. Most of the explosions, not most, I think all of the explosions, detonate. They make people blow up, it makes sense, they detonate. But for them to be able to detonate, they have to have a primer, and um, depending on the ability, they prime and they detonate, some fire actually some fire abilities actually detonate mostly pretty much for the storm is the only one to have primers and detonators but um your main detonator is pretty much your colossus he's got all the detonators and your main primer is obviously the storm so we'll talk a little bit about how this system works so the storm has plenty of primers um we could talk about uh any of them basically uh basically horf Horfrost Shards, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, I'm sorry if I'm not, is a primer frost ability that you can have with your focus deal. So you can hit them with these shards and this will freeze enemies. And then if you have something like Lightning Strike, which is their blast seal, 
um, that is a detonator of lightning and you can just hit them with your ability right after so you'll prime detonate and with that detonation you will spread the frost around to other opponents and you can kind of see here how this can get a little out of hand then if you got a colossus in the group and it has an explosive mortar on its shoulder you basically just frosted a whole bunch of enemies around it so then he could take the explosive mortar blow all those enemies up and everything around those enemies that he just comboed will now explode to do damage to everything around it and it's a huge glorious explosion combo so that's a little bit how it works um i'll show you up on the screen kind of the primers and detonators they're not exactly perfect um some of them are the names on here have changed now and i'm sure when the game fully comes out i'll be able to make another one of these videos to kind of explain it how the game's fully out now and things won't be changed anymore so that's much easier but i'm trying to get it so you guys can use this to the best of your advantage in the demo so you guys can have the best play time because these combos are essential to playing in this game and make it a lot easier to get through it so basically uh we could talk about melee now which Pretty much all of them detonate, the Colossus Storm and the Interceptor detonate. The only difference is the Storm has a fire detonator instead of the other ones that are just basically normal detonators, which doing, I think, the stab damage from the Interceptor and the Colossus is kind of like an explosive blast radius, which is pretty cool. But the only one, the Jack of all trades, is the ranger the ranger has a shock baton he comes down he can slap people prime them and then pretty much frag grenade them or do whatever um to detonate them on his other abilities so that's what's pretty cool about the ranger is that he is the only one to be able to prime people with his melee so when he's in there with uh the colossus maybe and he smacks someone then the colossus could smack someone that he smacked and detonate them to make them explode which is awesome and just another way that you can make the combo system work and then last but not least we will talk about ultimates ultimate you're all invincible during so you can spend your time doing it the storm as per usual is using all three different elements uh, he uses shock ice and fire and pretty much they prime and detonate on that so that's pretty powerful so everyone's primed and detonated over and over again and it just spreads while he's using his ultimate so that's pretty awesome uh the colossus gets a huge siege cannon that pretty much just launches nukes and as you guys can figure that detonates people and um the assassin uh the interceptor sorry gets assassin's blades which is just a detonator ability he's invulnerable and he just can go ham stabbing people it's like the most fluid thing and it looks awesome when you're doing it gotta recommend it to you guys it's pretty cool and then you have the ranger who's got the multi-target missile battery which is awesome you can use it in flight anytime that you want and it's basically you pop up with this little screen and there's like a triangle in it and from there you can launch missiles out of your back to all the enemies they heat seek and that is also a detonating ability so and uh most of them are detonators sorry about that and the storm are the only ones that has a primer so the last thing that i want to talk about in this is not really uh, a combo thing but it's kind of just something that you guys should really know going into the demo as well um is that fire and acid burns armor better and shock and frost takes away shields so when you're doing your abilities you can also put that into mind on what you're fighting and who's in your group really because it makes a big difference when i was playing with my friends and we had a storm in the group i was playing as the colossus and i was just using a railgun and explosive mortar because the storm you know puts enough aoe out there to be freezing and priming people for me and then it allows me to use my more damaging detonating abilities instead of having to put something else on and another little thing is some of the uh detonators i've actually noticed when they're um like an electric detonator or a frost detonator you can actually still prime enemies with that i believe uh, you can freeze them and then they can get detonated so i assume that is priming them um there's been nothing to really be said about that by uh bioware themselves but i noticed that playing through the demo so that's a little something to know that detonating fire ice electric and acid they can also uh, prime as well as detonate they do both and the detonate abilities seem to also prime them so that's an interesting thing to just kind of know as you're making your builds but i'm hoping this allows you to kind of make a little bit of a build while you're in the demo because 
using these combos effects, it really lets you breeze through this game so much easier. Um, me and my friend Lucky were actually able to 2v1 the Spider Queen um, on hard difficulty because our group um, kind of disbanded from us. But we did it. It was kind of hard, but as a Storm and a Colossus, you're able to do it a 2v. 2v1, 2v1 technically with that big motherfucker so um it's pretty awesome and i'm excited to be making more of the anthem content coming to this channel if you did like this video please leave a like and subscribe for more because i'm basically a rocket league youtuber and this is really the first game that i'm trying to expand out into and i really want to be able to so please leave a like it does a lot for uh smaller youtubers and uh it lets me know that you guys want to see more anthem because this coming weekend i should hopefully be coming out with a lot more content and when the game fully releases i want to be one of those first motherfuckers to get to grandmaster 3 and i'm gonna do it so i'll see you guys in the next one and i hope this video helps you out for this weekend